From the waterfront to downtown Pittsburgh, a Chicago real estate company is expanding its investments in our region. M&J Wilco recently added to its portfolio two buildings across the street from each other at 11 and 20 Stanwyck Street. The acquisitions come on top of its purchase of the 420 Boulevard of the Allies building, that's the home to the Art Institute, and Penn Center East down in Wilkins Township. Marty Sweeney is back with us. He's Senior Vice President of Acquisitions and Asset Management for M&J Wilco. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thanks, Bill. It's good to be here. Yeah, you've been busy. I think the last time we talked was about three years ago. You were putting your toe in the water at the waterfront. I, I take it that uh, went well and you're seeing additional opportunity here. It did. So uh, we are really happy with our success today at the waterfront. We bought it in October of 2012. It was uh, kind of falling on a little bit of a rough patch at the time. It was 83% leased. We had uh, 15 significant tenants whose leases were set to expire in the next 12 months. Wow. Weren't quite sure w where they were going. The former owner had stopped investing in the property. They had cut staff. They had uh, eliminated marketing programs. And so we came in and we did a, a full renovation of parking lots, landscaping, lighting, upgraded a lot of the common areas, and then went to work on, on our leasing program. And today, you know, four and a half years later, we're 98% leased. Uh, all 15 of the tenants who uh, we were concerned about leaving has st have stayed. We brought in some really nice new uh, uh, tenants, restaurants, and shops that are kind of unique to Pittsburgh, that, which is what we really liked. And it's gone very well. And really, it's the success at the waterfront has led us to kind of fall in love with Pittsburgh, the, the city, the people, and uh, we've, as you've noted, continued to invest here. Now, let's talk about downtown, because you're actually the landlord in the building that the Allegheny Conference occupies, the old Westinghouse headquarters building at 11 Stanwyck Street. Well, we couldn't be happier, frankly, with that acquisition and, and with your organization as a tenant. It's really one of the leading groups here. We're, uh, we're very impressed with what you guys have done uh, uh, to help the local economy and development. But uh, downtown Pittsburgh is a great place to invest. Uh, it's, it's a great place uh, that, that is seeing a lot of investment. We bought 20 Stanwicks about 15 months ago. Sure. It's gone very well. Reed Smith, uh, one of an uh, you know, international law firm, great brand name, uh, occupies about 65,000 square feet there. They just renewed their lease for 10 years, wow. uh, which, which we're really happy to get done. Uh, so things have gone well at 20 Stanwicks. The opportunity to buy 11 Stanwicks uh, came up, and we, with our existing partner at 20, uh, DRA advisors out of New York City. Uh, we decided to to kind of add to that portfolio, and the idea is to have two buildings right next to each other uh, can kind of feed off of each other. Uh, parking, if, if a tenant has a, an oversized parking requirement, we can uh, satisfy it with both buildings. Eleven Stanwicks, as you know, has really a beautiful, well landscape, a pointed exterior plaza. That is really kind of unique. Part of the original Gateway Center Plaza development. Right? Exactly, and it's kind of unique to downtown. And mm -hmm. you know, we want our 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 tenants, our clients, to use that for uh, client receptions and cocktail parties and business recruiting. And now our tenants across the street at 20 Stanwicks will be able to use the 11 Stamex facilities for the same thing. Yeah, I mean, you could invest, you're out of Chicago, I assume you can invest anywhere you want in the country. What do you see in Pittsburgh right now that's that's leading you to make buy a number of these buildings? Well, there, there's, a, there's a few things. One, you have a very strong diversified uh, economy across a number of different industries. I just read yesterday that uh, the even though natural gas and energy prices have been depressed for a couple of years and it has hit Texas hard and uh, the you know, Dakotas hard and Denver hard that Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh really were kind of unscathed with that and it's because you have a very diversified economy here so that first and foremost is what we really like you know, as you well know there's a lot of great things happening in Pittsburgh from from the energy market and the cr shell cracker facility that your group played a large role in, in, in making happen, but the robotics that we're all reading about and the, you know, the driverless car programs, everything that CMU and Pitt are doing, I mean, those, those things really do add up and they are very meaningful. And so we compare uh, a building like 11 Stanwix, which, which has a, an incredibly strong tenant roster. We have KeyBank, we have Charmuse Corporation, an international corporation. We've got uh, the Allegheny Conference, uh, 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 Bruner, a great advertising agency. So very strong tenant roster with a very, um, a very 
a stable parking component, which we like. That's mm -hmm. good, you know, solid income. And you can compare what we have, what we paid for that building, to what you'd have to pay for a similar or inferior opportunity in a Chicago or a LA or a Boston or San Francisco, other cities that we've invested in. And Pittsburgh is still a bargain. And so on a risk-adjusted basis, it really is a really good place to invest. Good to hear. There are values to be found. Only a few seconds left. We talked a lot about the core in downtown, and that's been really hot. What do you see in Penn Center? You bought Penn Center East in Wilkins Township near Monroeville. Well, it's 95 acres of, of flat land, which is really hard to come by <laughs> in western Pennsylvania. And so it, sh it, it, was under, uh, it was undercapitalized, it was undermanaged and underleased. Uh, we really like finding those, uh, those kind of uh, unpolished gems that need, need our skill set and need our capital to improve. And you know we're uh, about 15 months into ownership there. We uh, we're redeveloping a, a empty office building for a hotel, a Hilton brand hotel. We're, we just signed a lease with Texas Roadhouse to build a state-of-the-art prototypical restaurant for them. Uh, Starbucks will be uh, renovating their store to add a drive-through. It's uh, the and then the vacant Sears department store will be um, turned into a, a mixed use facility that will be centered around a, a new retail strip. So that, that, that'll be, I would think, Bill, in the next three or four months, you're gonna see a lot of activity on the former Sears department store. All right, well, as a, a downtown worker and an East End resident, can't happen soon enough. Well, Marty Sweeney from M&J Wilco. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Bill. Yeah, appreciate it. Next up, the ascension of a sender and how it's putting more people in business in our region. Stay with us.